Hi, I'm Katisha and this is episode 2 of Does It Really Matter? Last week I was doing my English exam and one of the questions in the writing section was write about a time when making a good choice is important. I was sat in the exam racking my brain trying to think of a time when if I made the wrong choice my whole life could be completely changed. I came to the decision of writing about a situation I was put in about 8 or 9 months ago. In England, when you're at the beginning of year 11, you're made to choose what subjects you're going to do for the next two years at college. Now when you're 15 like I was, there is no way of knowing what you're going to be doing when you're older. Sure you may have a few ideas of what you'd like to do, but those change every couple of months and you're never exactly certain. At the time when I was writing my application for college, I had so many teachers telling me that I had to make the right decision and I had to choose subjects that would put me up for a good well paid job instead of choosing subjects that I loved. To me this seemed absolutely bonkers because if I don't like a subject then I'm obviously not going to try as hard in that subject as I would in something like drama or music that I have a passion for and therefore I'm not going to get as good a grades as I would in those subjects. At the time, me and my parents agreed that half my choices would be academic, whilst the other half would be subjects that I just loved. I'm lucky enough that my parents supported my decision in this, because I know so many people who were pushed around by parents and teachers telling them that they had to do completely academic subjects for whole two years, and that they weren't allowed to do slightly more artsy, fun subjects like drama, music and art that they had a passion for. The point of this video is that if you do make the wrong choices for college, does it really matter? Yes, it's going to be two years of your life doing subjects which you may not exactly enjoy, but you never know. They could be the complete perfect courses for you and they could take you in the complete right direction for what you want to do. And if they aren't the right courses for you, there are always second chances. College isn't just for 16 to 18 year olds, there are plenty of people who go back to college in later life to get the qualifications they wish they had when they were our age. Second chances are always there for you, so never feel like it's too late to do something. Yes, you should take care when choosing your college subjects, but don't let go of the things that you love. For my birthday, my parents gave me this bracelet, and on it, it says, if you dream it, you can achieve it. I've tried to make my choices based on this quote because I don't want to spend my life doing things that I'm not going to put my all into and I'm just not going to feel happy doing. And I know that if this does end up being the wrong choice for me, there will always be a second chance. If any of you have a story about when you had to make an important choice or when you had a second chance, leave it as a comment below and I'll talk back to you down there. Hope you guys like this episode of Does It Really Matter and I'll be back next week with another episode for you. If you're subscribed to my main channel then you'll already know this. But I'm supporting a project made by a YouTuber called Rach Dirt, and it's called Project Anonymous Love. The project is about helping people who suffer with depression and self-harm and who just generally feel rubbish about themselves and it's about sending them anonymous messages on Tumblr filled with hope and just trying to make them feel better about themselves. I think it's a really good project and I support it 100% so I'll leave the link to it at the end of this video and in the description below. I'll see you guys sometime next week. Bye!